What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Um, I'm a little late. I was doing some things, so I'm trying to wrap it up. Um, hold on. All right. I was just coming out of the Miss O's live. Very interesting, but um, I got a few things I want to touch on and then talk a little bit about yesterday, but I got to get my hour in, so y'all here. Y'all got me for an hour. Let me say hello to everybody first. Turn these lights down. happy monday happy monday everybody let me get up to the top of the comments um precious pisces i hope you have an amazing day at work hey just krista my sister was just saying where's my friends hey sister and hey just krista what's up miss leslie dabna loans 
Hold on, let me get my screen. Now that Demon Soul is off. I heard my name in the street several times today already. Like, what? This morning, had to go on codes because Beasley seems to be infatuated. Later on, I'm getting notifications to the point where I had to put a post on my community wall to let y'all know. This is an FYI to anybody who don't know already. GX, glitter boots, old strokes, whatever y'all call them. Um, Beasley with the flies, the homeless man from Cali. They are not beef sector. I don't play. Thank you, Anthony Smith, Smith for gifting some memberships. I don't play with people I don't know. I don't have conversations. I don't have arguments. Like Beasley is stalking me at this point now. I don't know if I need to get restraining order or if I need to seek some type of counseling or what. But um, I feel uncomfortable with Beasley always running up whenever something about gay or just straight gay con com conversation starts. Here comes Beasley. Beasley wants to put his nipple on somebody's back. He wants somebody to lay beside him and be a little spoon or something. I'm not here for it. No means no, Beasley. So please stay the fuck out my, my way. Like, if you see me in a room, please exit the room left. Like, if I see you in any room, I probably have a mod stick, so you will be definitely blocked. Like, I don't, I don't like it. Grown folks, you ain't never been our sector, nigga. I've tolerated you only in circumstances where you act like you can control yourself and have a normal conversation, but you've proven that you're less of a man and can never be that. What I will never do is get on here and argue with somebody old enough to be my grandfather. Bad enough I get on here and I argue with bitches old enough to be my grandmother, but I digress. But no, I will argue with an old nigga like that, but like you're weird. Like, no, you're not welcome in areas. Like, I'll argue with men who are welcome to come into the areas, like without feeling like a creep or if you make everybody motherfucking uncomfortable already within the sector, like you're not coming around me. Like that's that's just all it is. Um, hey R N Y, hey Leslie, um, hey Tennessee whiskey. Uh oh, she got a she must be on a different account. Hey Bird Bird, what's up? Um, HTX Sweetie prayed up. Jessica Town, Chanel Huffman, what up? Birthday twin prayed up. Cash apps and BS. Nitra Nitra, NC Born and Raised, Leslie. Oh, you had to renew that membership. Lee Andrews Vines, Sour Patch Kid, Toya, Hola. Gemini Love, um, got my size medium green dress back. What up, Pizarro? In traffic, listen, ODS, you can allow us to turn it off. I got you. Next time you can handle it. You know, I be setting my shit up behind the scenes. And I set it on 20 minutes, and I normally don't do that. But can y'all hit the like button on y'all way in? Um, hey, Bella, Linda B, December. I'm just clicking, ain't saying a word. Miss Jean, Sugar Plum, B. Lachey, Anthony Smith, thank you for the memberships. Um, December Baby, Linda B, Bella. Um, ask Bri if she set up the slide for later. Jessica's Town, Shady Lives of YouTube. Um, I am Shay, Mo Betta, Hypnotic Touch. Shouts out to the best mods in the sector. I'm just being rude when I say that. Nah, but shouts out to the mods. They the mod squads. They are who they are. Honey Love, Buddha Bell, Betty White, Mal Mally, Indigo. What up, everybody? Polly Queen, Shay L. All right, y'all. We at the bottom. We at the bottom yet? We at the bottom. He, what, thank you for renewing your membership. Hey, Brown Sugar. All right, boom. Hey, and Bernadette, Sassy and Locke, Don Diva, Sunshine, Ox City, Jennifer Lucas, TSW, OCOB. Hey, everybody. Let's just let's just wrap it up with a big old hey, everybody. I hope everybody is having an amazing um, Tuesday. I did say Monday earlier, I think. Um, I did go in the office today for a few hours. I had some meetings. Hey, Shafi. Hey, Coolin. Um, and um, I got a little work done. What's up, the most high? But then um, I needed to come home. I just wasn't feeling it. And I wanted to. I knew I needed to get some little YouTube time in and all that. So I'm here. Um. I kept getting notifications saying ZX is having a live and he got my name in there. There's absolutely nothing that me and ZX can talk about. Hey, Robin of Detroit. Baby boy is doing good. Um, so it's like, there's no need. I guess VS needs to be doing an interview with Preacher Fee. I don't know, but um, I'm not comfortable with those guys around me. So you don't have to worry about me entertaining them. It ain't about being scared of any motherfucking thing. Because I'll go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with any nigga. Um, I can drop the link. Hey, Miss Brenda. I can drop the link, and if a nigga got a problem with me, they can pull up right now. Hey, 300. But um, I ain't arguing with people I don't know outside of the sector who ain't even got no clout to get me in no other doors. Like, no. I'm above those and past those years. I'm over 40, baby. You got to catch me on the other side. Hey, Voodoo Badu. Um, additionally, 
um there's a lady with no teeth um no furniture not much hair and judging by the picture that somebody sent me from her community wall not too many fingernails left um who was apparently over there dragging me as well i'm gonna just let you know um i pray for that lady she's definitely going through something mental physical and any other aspect of way that you can call it um god has been life has been trying for her and she looks like everything she's going through hey jennifer lucas so with that being said um i don't have any words for the lady over there with no teeth either welcome to the membership blackberry molasses um i gotta really go through the list of people that i'm not going to address like i think it'll be easier for me to just to say like who got a problem like see me they say uppity been up all night coming for you yeah and riley too mind you riley ain't even a part of the sector riley ain't even a part of nothing she was a part of one live in conversation she laughed that shit that everybody else laughed at and it hurt that girl feelings hey lady nika i really do believe that this situation right here if it won't finesse having up at his back right now and be in her corner or her protector not to say her protector her place of comfort she might really go off the deep end and do something real tragic let's just say so ness thank you for being a friend and being there thank you to the people who are in her chat trying to encourage her but to the ones that's encouraging her to do fuck shit like really think about the position that that puts her in i know y'all enjoying it from this side of it but like that thing ain't playing with a full deck at all and she's being mixed and mingled in with normal adult activities this is something that's completely out of her ever her, her, i can't even get the motherfucking words out this is something hey hillary banks this is something that is completely out of her element she's told her us out of her own mouth that she's used to being with her child nobody comes around none of her friends have ch children this age now all of a sudden she got sisters and family and relatives and this and that and third she's not going to therapy which we've heard from the recordings like she's not taking the advancement um situations that are being presented to her in order to recondition herself to be able to transition back into life like think about the things that's just think about all of those things when you push her and you encourage her when you send her cash apps and and you know that she's going out here to get brown think about that and think about what the next step is going to be after that brown because there has to be when you go high there has to be a low and when she comes crashing and tumbling down, when all of that little $20 that she had and that bottle of liquor is gone, that leaves her in a manic state of what do I do next? Where do I go? This child is on my nerve. I'm I'm arguing with this one. She really feel like she's in the fight for her life right now. So what I'm just going to say is I will back out. She can drag me, call me all kind of fags that she want. My God today, it ain't my problem. It ain't my issue. I pray for that lady. And that's all I got to say about that um god everybody liked the beef stuff the ods you said thank ness for being a friend and my co-worker started singing the golden girls thing i hate these people okay tell them subscribe please but um that's all i gotta say because when things get to a point where we're pushing aside so we know it was a whole yeah i'm backing out Sheffy. you can take my lead <laughs> if you want um what up maverick there's a whole so we had a whole different Kafarko last night, and I hate that word. We had a whole different load of bullshit last night. Last night was the expose. I'd be glad when Brie come back and play the second hour, because even though I am at the point where I am cool with this heat, that motherfucking interview, y'all might not have enjoyed it. That shit was juicy as a bitch to me. And I love, and I, I can't say I love, I fucks with some Ness, and I like to fuck with, like, I like going to battle with Ness and stuff like that. I hate when we have to go too far, but we always seem to bring it back on the road. But like to have some of these things, like last night Ness felt hurt, but to have some of these things and to know like, wow, so this is what your girlfriend thinks about you. Like, so the stuff that we be saying, it could really hurt her if she got down to it. So I don't know. It's been an enlightening situation, but that shit was juicy as a bitch. Um, Pizarro, I don't know. I don't know how she could just sit there and just be, just chilling like she really paid attention but i could tell she was driving she was smoking she was doing her old thing and this girl is literally pouring her heart out to pizarro and pizarro was just like yep mm -hmm, show sure was but how about this how about that like bitch she know how to have some conversation um shouts out to demon soul demon soul turned on her memberships and jay Dunn came through and blessed her with some gifted memberships so if you were able to receive one shout out to y'all we'll see y'all on the membership side but shout out to Demon Soul. That membership now means that she has to commit to be here more often, y'all. So give it up to Demon Soul for being here more motherfucking often. Welcome, the doll. Um, so 
I don't know. Watching Nessa's live, like it was, it was good. It was very good. It was very entertaining how she went over everything. Ness was just like, I don't think she really listened to it all, but like she was really because she was talking with Brie at the time. ODS, oh, yes. right, right, and that's the, the overlay for the underplay. Like they sent Brie over here to play defense. Brie over here chilling with y'all. They back scene. So now when we don't see Pizarro in the chat, are we supposed to automatically assume that she's behind the scenes with um somebody having moments? Like, I don't know. Like, and to sit on that for over a week and just y'all bitches. So people think that it was a play. A lot of people think that the situation was a play. I don't think so, baby. So they were thinking it's a play between Bree and Pizarro. Mm mm. You ain't going to record no shit. Pizarro ain't about to do the best three hours behind the scene where she ain't getting paid and cash out and talking her shit out loud just for nothing without it being recorded and it being, you got to have something in your back pocket. You always got to have something in your back pocket. Um, When it comes to Ness and Heat, Ness did say, Heat did say that she sent the, um that she told Ness about it. She told Ness that it was one hour and that they didn't talk about much. And, you know, she said basically that Ness should have known not to be, you know, say so don't be too mad. It's it's gonna be a little shit, but it's gonna be that. But she had no idea it was gonna come out like it did. Do you know that it was no motherfucking dead air in that video, y'all? Do you know that that video went on for the whole hour and change that we heard it and they talked the entire time? It was question and answer session for the entire time. What I really want to know is what how did they get to the point where Heidi had to go and release so much like what was the fight that pushed her to get into the tesla with pizarro and ride around town for three hours because they literally smoked like seven blunts riding around town like they literally had to probably charge up the tesla two times no they only drove three hours they probably tried to charge the tesla one time before they can even go they probably sat at the charging bay and talked for about 30 minutes then they rode around to the water park down to the um oh ness was flirting with lemon and jay dunn so that pissed her off okay Lemon and Jay Dunn. Like, that's no offense because those are my people. But, like, that's... It takes two hours to charge. So they charge the car for an hour. Ain't no telling what they... Just play Uno and stuff like that in the car. And then they decided to ride around, go down, pick up some crab legs because, you know, this heat... I'm this. I ain't pay a lot of attention, y'all, and I can't remember everything because I ain't take no notes. And I want to stop talking to Smoke, too. But, um... I don't know. I just feel like. Do y'all think they done? I want to do a poll just because I'm messy. Sorry, Ness. But Ness be doing Ness do do her shady shit behind the um members wall now at least. I'm gonna do a poll and see if y'all think that Ness and this heat are officially over. <laughs> so hold on. And let me check. Not they was on the bus. All right, don't answer yet, y'all. Hold on. Then I just saw James and um Rico going at it on Demon. So, do you think S and Heidi will get back to Gatna? All right, y'all, do the poll. Um, welcome to anybody who just came in. The poll states, hold on, because I hit add and it didn't add yet. Oh, I hit add option. Why I got to put another one? Hold on. Must contain one to 35 characters. It won't let me submit it. Hold on. Man, fuck this poll. It won't let me start, y'all. Anyway, um, I don't know why the fuck it's tripping. 
I must not follow me. Who gives a fuck? Y'all, it really won't let me post the poll. Fuck it. We're not gonna do the poll, y'all. Fuck that poll. Um, we just gonna say that they might be back together and they might not. Um, let me get back to the comments because <clears throat> he'll be up here four o'clock and then I gotta really get somebody. What concerns me is how much this he truly believes Pizarro was actually flirting with her. Do y'all think that Pizarro was flirting with her? I didn't get any flirting from that. Hey Jazz, eh? I missed a whole lot of shit because I was trying to do that stupid ass poll. Let me give an exclusive. She told me Ness and her was running plays on me and that the beef and sector and the beef sector so she can get numbers. She said they would fight. They were already planned out the fight. But the thing about that is, Pizarro, even if they planned out a fight and rehearse it, by the time one of them say some slick, sick shit, which we know they have a habit of doing, they run off track. At that point, they become enemies immediately. And I don't know why the fuck this poll won't work, but it really did piss me off. I shortened the version of the poll. Y'all go check it out. She said that they were rehearsed to fight and everything. And I was like, child, who the fuck has time to... Now... I did hear he say that um, she would write out scripts for Ness because Ness would be at work. I need a friend like Heidi. I need somebody who can give me a script so that way I can go live and have commentary and don't have to worry about what's going on. Diddy just sold his shares to his bulk TV. Oh, wow. I guess they're saying so that Ness can get numbers. We know this heat is not a content creator. So Pizarro admits that she flirted for Intel on that one stream yard link and she can't let it go. Because, you know, it only takes one time and then she's going she's gonna to run it at you. You need a third choice. I don't give a fuck. And, Linda, I normally do give that option. But at this point, I didn't. I'm like, nope, y'all got to stick to it. Can I say thank you for over 100 likes and I didn't have to beat y'all across the head for them? Thank you so much. I like when things work smoothly. So, in other news, in real world news, I woke up this morning to see, and shout out to King Roman, because when I turned on YouTube, I saw his community post first. Baltimore Bridge got hit by a cargo um, boat. <clears throat> the whole bridge collapsed. People fell in. Sad and serious situation. I go to... <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. What up, MBK? So I go, to, I go to Baltimore at least once a month. Um, Y'all know I have a business that I um have in the area. So we actually go up um to go check on the business on Friday. And to know this is not a bridge that we use, thankfully. Um, The bridge that we go on has double support and beams. The stuff we looked it up today because we was worried about it. We go across the George Washington or whatever. But that bridge um is similar to the San Francisco Bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge. And that's a scary situation. I have my TV on CNN right now. I've been watching it all day. Um, prayers to the people in Be More, um, to the people who was working there, to the people who was driving. Could you imagine just riding in your vehicle, you and your family, and all of a sudden you're at the bottom of the ocean? Like, literally, I don't know what I could think, do. Like, um, they need to go ahead and. Well, I mean, now it's got to be repaired, but like they need to go ahead and check all bridges and shit like that. Like it's it's wild. So, um, I don't, I don't get gay from you, Pizarro. You too mean to be gay. Not to say it like that, but like I don't think no woman would want to lay with you. Like, bitch, you too evil. Like, no, say that shit for a nigga. Like, so I dropped the link if anybody want to come through. Um, I'm only committing to one hour because you know got to give my members and my subscribers what they need but we can talk we can kick it um if y'all want to talk about beef sector i don't want to talk about gx or beasley because they're not beef sector if y'all want to talk about the toothless lady y'all can i have no commentary for it um if y'all want to talk about the nest and heat situation if y'all want to talk about the baltimore bridge it's whatever they had cleared the bridge ods it was still construction workers on it who died wow um somebody put up a question on my i don't like buddy pussy like my <laughs> somebody had put a question on facebook and they were saying, where were the tugboats? Because normally, even if it's a cruise line or something, when you're at that, um, when you're at the docks and you're leaving the ports like that, they're normally guided out by tugboats 
until they get to an open space because it helps with navigation. I just saw you over there, Treasure. Your broom still probably got smoke on it now, sweeping up them hospital floors. Um, but but yeah, I saw Sean comment that he was good. He's not even in Baltimore. I haven't heard from any of the other Baltimore ladies. Um, y'all seen Miss Toby and all those. Um, and not to say prayerfully, but thankfully it was the middle of the night, so it wasn't as many people that could have been on it or could have been affected. So hey Marisha. Nina, I heard your placement as well. The biggest question is where was the bridge operator? I mean, at that time of morning, you know, people be cutting corners and stuff like that. They probably wasn't even supposed to leave just yet. Hey, Dirty. So it's been a lot of conspiracies. I've been seeing a lot of conversations. I would love to hear some different people's points of view and opinion. Um, they showed a video where the cargo ship lost power and crashed into the bridge, then showed the bridge collapse. My heart sank. Yeah. I don't see her, Lachey. I think she may be working. Hey, Lachey. Funny how it was Francis Ford Key Bridge, that racist ass song. <coughs> <coughs> Something else that I saw on Facebook was, and I shared it, I believe. Um, that bridge had just met an anniversary or something like that. Um, I can't even, let me see if I find the post. Nope, I don't see it. Oh, and another thing we didn't talk about, but I mean, Diddy is going down, down, down. I mean, we've had these conversations. From what I'm gathering, they're saying that this Diddy situation might be bigger than R. Kelly's. So, I mean, who going to start the Diddy sector? Y'all can, this is the time. Hey, chat rap, you could be the Diddy sector. You could start a whole sector right now if you want to support Diddy. Um, similar to um, similar to um, R. Kelly, somebody supports him. It's going to be some followings. So, I mean, if you want to start the Diddy, the Diddy sector, Pizarro, there you go. New sector alert. I have a messy question for Ness. Ask us, Lachey, and we'll make sure that she gets it. Um, 300 said that that was a technical issue. I'm trying to catch the comments, y'all. My bad. I've lived in Baltimore for the most of my life. I hated that bridge and always avoided it. Wow. I have flashbacks. The conspiracy is going through my head. Okay, complaint box. I would love to hear some of it. The bridge going into New Orleans terrifies me because there's nothing but water on both sides for miles. And that's the part. I've seen a movie where a windstorm or something came through and they blew so much wind that it snapped the bridge. And I just see that like, oh, that's so scary. There was a technical issue that happened on the bridge, something with the power outage on the ship that caused it to veer off like that. Mm -hmm. All right. You said, OK, I have to get back down to work. All right, Mobata, I appreciate you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, so we're gonna have a Diddy and Carisha um sector. Something um sometimes you have to introduce the concept of humanity to folks that don't know. Oh, Nina got a heart. I used to live on an island and the bridge used to get stuck because it was so old. It was so scary. Oh wow. You support Diddy? You said not the Diddy sector. What up, Max? Diddy is getting done. I feel nothing. That mofo has been shady since the 90s. I heard Russell Simmons will serve papers too. But ain't Russell Simmons out of the country as well? But I also saw that Diddy was out of the country. But then I saw him say that he was at Miami airport. So I was a little conflicted. Hold on, y'all. All right. Um... We said, hell no, nah, by Diddy. So y'all not trying to be in the Diddy sector. This is definitely way bigger than R. Kelly. Absolutely. Now, I'm just hoping that it don't come out to be no kids. It's just, it can be a bunch of women. And I mean, I guess some boys, but I hope there's no kids involved. Uh, Sheffy, take Brooke. She has experience in Shifty, Shifty Bid and provide information on them. Did it come hot with me and just send me all your money before they freeze it? That's a wrap. Dude broke right now. The harbor master is usually in place to guide those type of cargo ships. That's what I was thinking, Dirty Shirt Shoes. So I don't understand. Like, I, there are more questions than answers. And I haven't heard any full reports yet. I'm hoping on the 6 o'clock news I'll be able to catch something. Because I've just been watching the video and just looking like it's going to change or something. You hate that bridge as well. I'm glad we don't have to travel on it. Diddy is corny um, as fuck, though. 
who want a sector starting with him? Indigo, there's a sector for everything, baby. Everything. Watch. It's going to be a Diddy sector. <coughs> Abby Pearl, it's funny you say that. Because somebody I was talking with, well, not I was talking to, I was reading comments on Facebook. I'm going to get into it, Lachey. And um, they said that Jay-Z was next up on the list. And they said that Beyonce going to walk away scotch-free, but Jay-Z going to definitely have to pay for something. I'm curious to see. And I do watch Sloan. Y'all know the psychic Sloan? I told y'all about her months ago, remember? And she said that something was going to go down before April, end of March. And it's going to be a revelation that's going to come about the death of Kim Porter. Remember? So whoever's starting the Diddy sector, I mean, I'll support, but I mean, I'm not going to put a, um, a Diddy globe or nothing. Don't y'all try to take my disco ball either. I will sue you hoes. You said whoever supports him did not grow up in the 90s. Y'all, they taking everything away from us. We ain't going to have music. We can't love the TV we used to watch. Everything is filled with just, uh, that's the world we live in now, y'all. Diddy has done wrong to so many. Our criminal infrastructure doesn't help. Diddy sector sounds interesting, don't it, though? I didn't hear anyone request Amish hymns. <laughs> <coughs> they froze his money. Wow. Spam, what you got to say? Hey, Lex. I want to know, did he send her threatening emails last night because she hit Lemon Panel and had a conversation with Let's Be Honest? Oh, wow. Um, She was having a conversation with somebody else, too. I can't remember where it was. And y'all saying Jay-Z is up next as well. I'm catching up, y'all. Um, yes, and they can't get him. Homeland Security is a whole different beast um, than the feds. Are you talking about the lake? I don't know how to pronounce that. That thing intimidating. It's almost 30 minutes to get off that one. Oh, yeah. Y'all can keep that, Louisiana. You sticking by Diddy. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Take that. Take that. Take that. They said that's what he could be saying in jail. Take that. Take that. Take that. Chef, if you make the sector, make sure you don't be like infamous, <laughs> Sophia. Y'all are so shady. Russell is somewhere on an island in another country. He is in Bali. So they were saying that Diddy is in a place that um doesn't support extradition. Isn't that how you pronounce it? Um, So, I mean, if he goes somewhere safe, but like that's so shady and it looks so guilty if you leave and you leave your teenage, well, not teenage because them boys grown as hell. You leave your young sons at home to take the raft like what child if nina didn't like rico she would say and do worse than james did she kills me with the high moral high road oh molly has spoken i heard they serve russell simmons allegedly well jay-z bring me all your money before they freeze it now now trust me he got that money in his daughter's name jay-z ain't no fool i don't believe he no fool at all i bet you every kid got their own trust fund that's equally packed um I don't know any charges or anything just yet. I know Diddy's charges have something to do with something sexual. Don't quote me. Catch one of these blogs. Um, Shouts out to Really Be TV. You know, she's going to give her comprehensive report. I was looking at Nick at night um, yesterday or last night or this morning somewhere. But I've been roaming these streets and my recommendation has been off the chain. When I did a scroll, everything on my timeline was about Diddy. <laughs> she's so full of shit. I stopped liking Diddy when he was trying to find a new assistant and make it a band. Damn, Buddha, you ain't fuck with him in a minute. Not trying to get too deep, but this week is Holy Week. There are a lot of crazy things going on. My prayers are with Baltimore. And isn't it something going on um, with, like, retro and all that? I ain't about to walk myself down the roads, but um, ain't it something retrograde and Metro card and PCS and all that going on? You said the feds got his money already. They pulled up on his money before they pulled up on him. Trust me. Lady Nikki, yes, ma'am. I had my eyes closed the whole time. So is Brooke going to be a favor of Diddy, too, like she is for R. Kelly? We don't know. We going to see. Is that for me now? Um. Oh. So this is the latest. So the latest on the Baltimore Bridge update is A single body has been recovered from the river, river in the aftermath of the collapse in Baltimore. Um, the collapse occurred after a massive container ship lost power early Tuesday and crashed into the bridge, sending people and their vehicles into the frigid river, officials said. Um, a live video posted on YouTube showed the ship powering to the bridge um, in darkness. The headlights of the vehicles could be seen on the bridge as it crashed into the water, and then the ship caught fire. Ouch. Um. 
The same ship was involved in an accident in the port of Belgium in 2016 when it hit a quay as it tried to exit the North Sea Container Terminal. And later, um, a later inspection in June 2023 carried out in San Antonio <clears throat> found the vessel had procru what is that? Pro propulsion and auxiliary machinery defense. Wow. According to data on the public equals website, which provide information on ship. So you're saying that this is a special vessel. It don't have. Hold on. <clears throat> so I'm gathering information and I'm hearing conversations. So basically, that is not the first time that that ship itself has been in an accident. It's confirmed to have an accident in 2016 as well. Um, but even furthermore, they feel that it's some things, some type of, I don't know. I don't know, because they say machinery, auxiliary machinery. Like, we don't know exactly what the contents of the ship is. And if this was an intended strike, a lot of people were saying that it could be like an attack or something. I don't know. You guys, you know, what do you think? Not bad, Diddy. Nico, damn. Let's say what comment, baby. Hold on. I feel like I read it now. I got to jump to the bottom, y'all. Let me get through these comments. Russell Simmons had offshore accounts and moved and got tip. Lady Nika, ma'am, I had my eyes closed. Mm. My bad, y'all. I had some smoke in my mouth. Eyely edges. Um, I read the power went out on the ship like a malfunction. Yeah, but if the power went out, like how much time between the power going out and them actually hitting the side of the bridge? How much time was that? So have you been to the Chesapeake Bay Bridge in Virginia? Yeah, I mean, I've been all over um, the 757. Sloan Bella, that's what I was trying to say. I couldn't get her last name. Hey, Creole Butterfly. <coughs> Creole said, I'm not turning on Diddy yet. Um, the Chesapeake Bay is actually on the eastern shore, and I might be going out there. Wait, well, right, that's the one that goes to the eastern shore. But um, I was about to say I might be going out that way, but with this bridge accident, I won't be going with my people when they go that way. Instead, I'll say no. She said 2036 for Jay Z. Oh, wow. What happened? You see how she's latched to Shirley Strawberry's ex Nesto? Just who are you talking about, Trillery? Because I know V. Lenore doing um, exclusives and she found her thing. Like, that's working for her over there. Sloan had the dates correct. It's, source, it's scary. Pizarro, you going to do a little um conspiracy live about it? I'll listen to that. Not the adopted white daughter Diddy has is missing. Her name is Ava. Oh, wow. So we're about to start this um this rabbit hole. Start the Alvy Shore sector. Uh oh. And Toya, I just got to your comment. Hello, my love. Buenos tardes, everybody. Happy hey, hey. Holy Week. <laughs> it ain't that holy. <laughs> can you guys hear me? Okay, I'm outside. Yeah, we can hear you, March twenty. Okay, because I know my sound when I have my beaks on are kind of shitty. But uh, more breaking news on the uh, Diddy Dingler. Uh, so his drug mule got arrested early this morning. His 25-year-old drug mule, which means that mean that sucker was born in 1999. So uh, they got him, and so basically he might be flipping, obviously. And here's the funny thing that I thought about. Notice that people who have been to his parties, everyone is just like radio silent. You have nobody coming out saying anything. And I mean, minus like 50 cents trolling the hell out of them. Right, but, but that's expected. It's, yeah, exactly. But it's just funny that, you know, you don't hear anybody who's like, well, I went to his parties and nothing happened. It's just, and plus, there's, it, it's almost, it almost feels like it's going to boil into an Epstein case. And the reason why I say this, mm -hmm. because with Epstein, he also had a bunch of powerful people, politicians, royalty, and everyone. As for Diddy, he also had a bunch of politicians, and let's and he also recorded a lot of those FOs. Um, and he all he had video cameras in a, a lot, majority of his rooms. 
So with that being said, this is almost going to get up to that Epstein level, in my opinion. What do you think? I mean, I do see it having the potential. Of course, they're going to make an example. Hey, viewers of you, because it's a black guy, of course, um, and a black guy, you know, who's in the celebrity light. He don't really have no power. I mean, I don't see Diddy as a powerful man, but I mean, I guess to some people. Well, in the um, music industry, he is, though. I mean, we the reason why I stopped messing with him back in the 90s, because uh, all of his artists, he had been stealing from his artists. I mean, Little Kim went to jail kind of because of him and IRS as well. Mm -hmm. Shine took a charge because of him, went to jail. Uh, Craig Mack did. Uh, like all Biggie People did. still mad about how he did the band, and he did that shit on TV in front of the world. Exactly. So, I mean... There's always been a pattern with him, and he does have a lot of power and influence when it came when it came to the music industry. So that's why a lot of people were scared and would keep their mouths shut for many years. Like there's a, even the um, an interview going back to 2008, 2009 with Exhibit talking about Diddy. So yeah, and plus he's friends with Clive Davis and you know Whitney Houston. My situation. conspiracy. It's a conspiracy theory for me what, on my what's end. What's the girl name who um used to be down here fighting with everybody? Jaguar. I don't want to say it too loud. Um, ain't she said lots of these things? Wendy said things back in the day, and she was shunned for saying. And so, I mean, it's not a lot of secret behind it. It's been a lot of hush mouth. I mean, that's been the case about Diddy for always. Cassie yeah, I mean, right now. I mean, going back to the Wendy Williams, that happened back in like the mid '90s, where he had total come to the radio station to beat to her up her. because yeah. exactly so i mean it's funny i mean it's just a whole pattern he blew up kid cuddy's car my boy kid cuddy like that's literally. also they said the ndas had time restraints so like they've all reached their max years that's why people talking about stuff now and able to say different things yeah and also uh i uh, believe back in november of 2023 in new york state they also had the uh the sexual survivors uh uh kind of law that expired i'm paraphrasing for what that is yeah. called so a lot of people along with cassie and everyone when those ndas expired were able to talk to the da and what have you so right. it's it's getting crazy like from all my childhood is getting wrecked too i just finished watching the nickelodeon thing that's fucked up <laughs> yeah like, i didn't even finish uh, like the last episode because i mean it was a lot to take and just to know this man was in all of their faces all the time. So it's like, if this is the part that they tell him, think about what hasn't been told. Oof. It, yeah, that's it. It's pretty heavy. But uh, prayers to the people on that bridge, too. I'm, 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 this is why I get really scared about bridges. But I am also kind of thankful that it didn't happen at rush hour where a lot of people are on that bridge. Luckily, it happened at 1 a.m., though still with right. those people, you know, it's still it's still a sad situation. But it's funny that this cargo company has been able to operate as much as they have. So someone, if that's the case, that company needs to be held with charges because if this is a not on like ongoing thing with them, we got a problem. And what the fuck was they moving at one in the morning that they was trying to sneak out so quick before the people got there? And you know there's a lot of corruption in the cargo market. Like, I live in the, the Bay Area. It's a bunch of cargos. They seize a lot of stuff here because it's a lot of things that shouldn't be on that cargo, illegal things, things that are not going through customs. That could also right. be a thing, too, not going through customs. And we know in the Diddy situation, I'm, going, I'm bouncing back. We know Diddy gonna tell on everybody that's involved. You better believe he's uh, he's singing like a canary. Like anytime you see him, he's gonna be telling on somebody. He's not going down for any of this. Watch what I tell you. He's gonna get the bare minimum. Everybody else around him gonna fall, but he's gonna get the bare minimum. Do you think um, I'll be sure is gonna say more stuff now? I saw him make a comment. Well, I can't say I saw. I saw a blog put up something. I didn't know how true it was. So what did he actually comment? Um, well, there is the conspiracy about how funny how I'll be sure like almost died and what have you was in a coma. Um, right. He's kind of speculating that 
the same thing that happened with Kim Porter, because come on, you guys, she was poisoned. <laughs> she's just, she's poisoned. It that's could have been the same poison, understood. huh? I said that's definitely understood, right? Um, so I think he's going to be coming out like just with short, like little things, like on Instagram, not like full video. Right. But if there is going to try, I'm not going to have a nine. Uh oh, Toya, you're breaking up. I know you in the city. Toya, I'm going to drop you because your sound went out. But thank you for coming up and sharing your opinion. You said Chloe Bailey said her dad takes that bridge every night and was late getting up for work, so he missed it. Wow. I forgot those girls from Baltimore. Hey, Brooke. So we was wondering, Brooke, if they started a Diddy sector, they were saying, were you going to be in support or were you going to be joining? I didn't know how you felt about Diddy, so I couldn't speak for you. But I thought I'd let you know. You said her time is up. He was writing the docuseries. I still want to know about the Kim Porter book that she was writing or the phone or the computer that has the information on it. Yeah, I'm glad to hear about Chloe's dad. Are they? They went to a different school, I bet. He gives very much snitch. Absolutely. Diddy is walking away. He's not, mm -mm, not him. Excuse me. Hold on. Um, I find it very odd. We knew when the feds hit Diddy House, but they barely put it on the news when Harvey Weinstein was arrested. Right. Because TMZ and all of them was there for this. And they were simultaneously at both places. They knew that it was going down at both spots at the same time. So what Brooke say? Of course Brooke will support. No, I actually believe the allegations against Diddy versus R. Kelly. Ooh. Okay, Brooke. Um, if they lock Diddy up, they're gonna have to watch him. He's not stable and finding out he'll lose everything. Absolutely. I can see that. I feel sorry for his kids, especially the twins. Um, because the twins already lost their mom. And now to lose their dad, whether he goes to prison or just to be, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot. Kamora um, has those twins. You know she do. They said Diddy, Jack in another country. I bet he flew the girls and probably got all kinds of evidence. Dwayne Haley. Oh, they from ATL? Oh, okay. Why did they in Baltimore then? TMZ has been tracking Diddy's private jet too. I saw that and that was... That was weird, but I mean, I know they got the ability to do all that, but like it felt real convenient. Like, Diddy, you about to get you, your ass is about to get served. Diddy was tipped off. He just wasn't quick about it. Toy is back. Really? Toy, I can't hear you. You're on mute. Oh, you oh can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sorry. I had to get away from the noisy uh, traffic. Um, oh, good. <laughs> right, right when God said no before I got dropped, I was saying <laughs> this trial, if there is going to be a Diddy trial, you're going to have a 90s Uptown reunion with Jodeci, Mary J. Blige, Total. It's almost going to be like a tour, but the, everyone's going to be on trial and probably riding out against um, Diddy. Because notice Mary J. Blige has been working with 50 Cent. She don't have much to do with him anymore. Yeah, she doesn't. So, you know what? I'm going to go down in the chat because it is going to get noisy over here. So, All right, Toya, uh, thank you. You're welcome. All right, Diddy likely did all that mess, but the timing is interesting. Trump just got out of some mess, and here comes a distraction. Right. Diddy Jack was flying everywhere for the last three days, making several stops. So he's trying to just throw people off and not know exactly where he is. Because I did see pictures of him in Miami, but I knew they said his jet was in somewhere else. Diddy needs to be in Bali, Indonesia, buying a house next door to Russell Simmons since Indonesia does an extradite to the U.S. And the judge over his case has a 98% conviction rate. Wow. They're not going to go easy on him. <clears throat> Mary J. Bouch, back the way she's smart. Uh, Mary allegedly said, <laughs> leave her out of it. No, Mary was just two-stepping at a Diddy party. She said, I just came here to party and dance. That's it. I ain't here for nothing else. 
R. Kelly did everything they said. Ooh, and then some. I'm from Chicago, and anyone from the city knows this. I would have ran my ass to Cuba. Feds got him in Miami at the airport, but he wasn't arrested. Okay, so those pictures where he was looking stressed out with the jogging pants on, walking back and forth, was in Miami. What up, Ronnie? Trump ain't got ain't out of his mess. Nope, he got time to collect funds. Hey, slick chick. <clears throat> but they didn't have to arrest any arrest warrants, did he? They only had search warrants, so he wasn't wanted. Oh, yes. Did you hear about the little white girl that he adopted? I seen the video today, and it's a little so weird. So I didn't hear about it. Hey, Andrea. Um, I didn't hear about it, but somebody debunked it in the comments saying that that was a friend's child, and he apparently adopted that person. I don't know how true that is, um, but that was a conversation I had in the comments. Let's see what Andrea said. She said, did he rinse out his private jet? A few people in his circle are on my friend's page. That's a possibility as well. But like, it's doing a whole lot of moving right now and nobody can find like, where's Diddy? It's like, where's Waldo? Where's Diddy? It's been proven Diddy's jet is currently being used. Carisha and her friend, he isn't used that jet in the moment. And that's the same thing that um, Andrea was just saying. The jet has been being used by a lot of people. <clears throat> I saw them on Twitter. They was like, where Carisha? Carisha commented like, right here, what's up? She ain't got nothing to do with that man, y'all. Y'all leave her out of it. She just sleeping with him. Yeah, they were searching them and took his belongings, but arrested his mule at the airport for drugs. Yeah, he was waiting at the private airport. I'm from Chicago, too. R. Kelly tried to pick up my best friend at 14 in 1994 at the Rock and Roll McDonald's. He's a sick bastard. Lemon Berry says, Diddy is screwed. Hey, Phenomenal Scorpio. Um, I'm waiting for J-Lo to talk. She's been very quiet. Her husband says, shut your mouth and mind your business. Period. Sissy should have been making plans as soon as Cassie escaped, right? Um, he didn't adopt that little white girl. That is a lie. It's been debunked. There we go. So they're saying he didn't adopt the child. Child, y'all can argue about that child all y'all want. I don't know nothing about her, and ain't nobody came to pit and told me about her. So um, I know Drake, like, yeah, little nigga, <laughs> payback. His assistant or whoever, the Caucasian man, was arrested, tainted and laced drugs, candy flavored found. Hmm. That's messy, but I guess they used to fly in private, maybe, and they were in a rush. They told me we were just looking for you, girl. You good. You quiet. Um, stay in your lane. Drake's away being sassy with that take that ninja. Um, Tiana says, I don't know why Bussy Diddy afraid of going to jail. Tons of booty tossed everywhere for him. <laughs> he said, J-Lo. J and my soldier boy voice, J-Lo. <clears throat> Y'all, I don't have nothing else going on. I got like seven more minutes that I'm going to give y'all, though, because I said I'll be here for an hour. But I'm enjoying the conversation and just kicking back and relaxing. My ex-roommate was one of the judges on making making the band. He had spent a lot of time with Diddy and never told me anything crazy, and trust me, he would have. Ask him now, PDP, because he might have been a don't ask, don't tell type situation. I didn't say J-Ho. Don't do that. I wonder what T.D. Jakes is doing besides preparing Easter service. Somewhere getting swallowed. <clears throat> what was the purpose of the video and him saying that he adopted her? I don't know nothing about this video. Y'all got to tell me more. Diddy would be a top dog in the general population. You think so, Ron Jeremy? I mean, he would. That's all right. So, Brooke, you like go hostess. <laughs> um, did you know LG dragged you again Saturday night? Watch the smoke screen. Brooke, fuck LG with her drunk ass. LG get on here and pull her paints down in the front and pull her paints down in the back. And then she gets on here the next day and she don't remember what she even said or did. LG can't tell me a god darn thing. And I'm being nice when I say it like that because we got mixed company. Because I recognize names I ain't never seen here before. So I'm going to be cute. I'm going to keep it cute. But tell LG to see me when I'm in that situation. Or if LG here now, she can bring her monkey ass up here and we can have that conversation. But until then, let me get back to my commentary. It's definitely a whole lot of smoke and mirrors. Hey, Reese's PCs, or he probably had an NDA. Possibly. Folks were scared of Diddy and had um, Hyman, et cetera. People were not going to speak out against him. Have you ever been swallowed? Okay, TD Jakes. He's somewhere with his legs to the uh-uh. Y'all leave pasta alone. It is Easter. I'm dead. Diddy would rather be involved in a scandal about women than to be labeled gay. He absolutely, ooh. Live in your truth, Diddy. Live in your truth. Not she in rehab, Lachey. Get your butt out of here. Yours, mine's, I could drag for hours. Okay, hypnotic. J-Lo been protected by the spirit of Selena. 
Let me drop my cash app. Y'all feel free to bless, bless the host if you would like. Um, J Lo found Ben and Ray, and she said, I am free. Is there anything else going on, y'all? Anybody else want to contribute? The link is pinned. Uh, shout out to my moderators. Thank you for holding me down. And shout out to the members. Thank you for the gifted memberships, Anthony. I do appreciate it. Um, thank you, RNY, for renewing HTX Sweetie. Um, just cooling with the crew with the conversation. I'm in here, ODS. Y'all know cooling got that raspy boy. I'm in here, ODS. And then Blackberry Molasses for renewing your membership as well. Um, let me get back up here. Not think about Magic Johnson. Um, Leandris, don't do Selena like that. Think about it, Magic Johnson. Why you say pants like that, ODS? What I say, I don't even remember now. I was at Diddy's recording studio in the 90s, and I never saw anything too crazy. One of the interns had to deliver McDonald's to a hotel room door in Times Square at like 3 a.m., but don't knock. Somebody just had the munchies. The Caucasian gigolo who slept with Diddy and Cassie told the police years ago about Diddy. They thought he was crazy. He said he gave him an incurable STD. Wow. Pizarro, are you ready to go live? Because I got three minutes, and it'll be my one hour. Um, Aaron Hall, he's a whole dope head. He probably needs three hats in a cat. Three hots in a cot. I don't know when the next food challenge. Um, maybe we can come up with that, you guys. I'll be going live on my mukbang channel soon. Um, I'll do a live mukbang since I haven't done a video over there in almost two weeks, and I need to get the views. So um, maybe I'll come up with a food challenge. And I don't know if Pizarro doing her gumbo, if she's going to run it back, or what she going to do. If anyone is interested, the lead attorney is going over Diddy's court documents. So the lead attorney is going over Diddy's court documents right now, y'all. If somebody goes check it out, please be sure to share it. Do you believe um, that about Jake's? What, that he gets down and stuff like that? Phenomenal. If that's your question, yes, I do. Uh, Magic preferred to be labeled a hoe versus gay. So you think Magic was gay too? My whole mouth dropped. <laughs> Cassie not innocent. Where is Fonsworth? That's whose stories I want to hear, okay? Because he was his right hand. Um, Once the assistant engineers was boinking Diddy's sister in the recording. One of the assistant engineers was boinking Diddy's sister in the recording room, control room. Oh, wow. You're not going live. Yeah, yeah, we need to do a wig challenge for Easter. That would be cute. Ben Affleck and J-Ho ain't going to last. Ben Affleck has been filming with Sofia Vergara. Mm. This is Good Friday, you, got, you guys. So... Act accordingly. This is Good Friday, so act according. Somebody just said, yes, magic is gay. Let me, oh, where we find the attorney at? I think if you search lead attorney, you should be able to find him. The same roommate. Yep, magic gay. And so is Jordan. So you believe Jake's been swallowed? Absolutely. I think he's doing the swallowing. I don't think that he gets swallowed. I think he's doing it. Hey, MU, I hope you enjoyed your birthday. Hey, Coach White. Yep, Aaron Hall is a crackhead. He was squatting in a baking house. No gas or water. My home used to take him leftovers. Oh, love magic, but I don't believe he could track the HIV from too many women. I know that's right. I intend to act quite colorful. I intend to act quite colorful, okay? <clears throat> Fonsworth has, was allegedly paid off to keep the secrets. Um, I love lead shows. Who's going live next? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Who's going live next, you guys? Thank you, Ashton. Not they say lead attorney a freak too, allegedly. Voodoo, what you know about all these freaks? <laughs> allegedly, okay. Lead attorney is a manosphere plant though. Oh well. I just want to read the documents. That's it. The parties in the Hamptons was insane. Um, I had a good time. Jody of mine, a Judy of mine that went and he couldn't tell me what happened, but stuff went down that would make Satan embarrassed. Ooh, Lord, my boy Aaron Hall. TD Jake swallows all the okay, Ron Jeremy. Um, they said MU was all <laughs> I'm not messing with you. Uh, MU, don't pay Lachey any mind. The lead attorney is his YouTube channel. Um, Magic Johnson is bisexual, not gay. That's been out there since the early 90s. Wow. MU, are you going live tonight? Pizarro, so you are going live, Pizarro. All right, y'all. Well, Pizarro is about to go live. Um, we just hit one hour. Oh, if we going down the rabbit hole, another friend of mine's sister was one of the stars in Paris is Burning, and she was messing around with Eddie Murphy. I'm not surprised. These men sleep with any and everything. I'm working till six, so it can't be me. Have a good rest of your day at work, Lady Nika. Um, I'm getting, I keep getting T.D. Jakes and Bobby Brown mixed up. They look just alike now. Let's say you're worried, obsessed bitch that always wants my attention. You're dismissed, loser. Um, as Lady Steph said, Leandris, I'm patiently waiting. Rabbit hole. Okay. Um, just saw a very sad video of Keith Murray. 
Mo most of Diddy's artists are down bad. Come on. Well, look, y'all, I'm about to hit this button and we're going to mosey on out of here. I want to thank y'all for coming and kicking it with me. I hope y'all enjoyed the show. Be sure to hit the like button on your way out and share this thing on out just in case somebody didn't see it. Because somebody notifications didn't go off. I hope y'all have a great rest of your Tuesday. If you got T-Mobile, check your app. It's T-Mobile Tuesday. Check for your freebie. They was giving out some glasses or something. What happened to the trans from making the band? Anthony Smith, thank you for the purchase of those memberships. I do appreciate it. My birthday twin. Our birthday coming up, boo. I'm going to make do I, do I make a wish list. Y'all know y'all say I love the bed. Do I need to make a wish list? If y'all want me to make a wish list for my birthday, put a one in the chat. I'm going to listen to the people. If you if I don't need no wish list for the two. Megan begins April 1st. I want to thank you guys. Birthday April 29th. I hope y'all had a nice time kicking and chilling, having a little conversation. And a quick recap, I'm not fighting with no Negroes who ain't a part of this beat sector. If you can't come hit this link and talk that shit, I'm not coming to your dead ass channel. It is what it is. To the crazy lady with no teeth in New York, I pray your health, your strength, and your life. Um, And yeah, that's all I can say for you, baby. Um, everybody else, I'll see y'all on the streets. Bria have a live later tonight when she's gonna do the videos. But I'm about to go live now. Lady Nika at work till six. Um, I don't know. The best birthday, okay? I have a good old one at work, but I'll still see. Brooke, you need to be going live too. You ain't been live in about a week or a month or Sunday, so we need to see you out here on the streets as well. Okay, I'll do that. But I love y'all and I thank y'all for coming through. Hit your son's the 11th. So he's not a tourist though. Hey, Miss Chantel. I almost said who, but I figured it out. But y'all have a great rest of your day. Thank you for coming through and kicking it on your midday Tuesday with your boy official. You April the 4th. All right, all right. That's coming up very soon. I'm going to wish you happy birthday early and just in case I forget. Marisha, but I love you guys and I'll see y'all. Bye.